Okay, here's one that doesn't spin. And uh, check the lid switch. There's nothing there, so it could have been broken. Um, you can put a new switch in, or you can bypass it. And we also have this dryer that supposedly doesn't turn on. Could be the lid switch. Switch here. Let's soon find out. Let me check for power. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the con console off and um, take a look at the lid switch. Okay, so these have the two fenders on the sides, on each side. You have to pull those off. Just grab it from the side here and pull it up. It should come off. And then underneath they've got the two screws. One on each side there. You can see that this lid switch I don't think has been by bypassed. If we put a meter on these two uh, outside terminals, you'll see that it doesn't have continuity. We can test the meter like this. Um, and there's no continuity. So this switch is bad. And so what we're going to do... In this case, we're going to bypass it. Don't try this at home because there is a shock hazard and uh, may void your warranty. Um, I'm going to just bypass it temporarily because I'm in a rem remote location and, uh, and we're going to do a, just a uh, economy quick fix on this for now. So basically, we just take the gray and the brown wire and um, wrap them together and leave the green wire where it is and then plug this back in so the frame is grounded so this is pretty much uh, probably about 50 percent of the jobs i go to are related to this switch and uh yeah typically when you see this water in here it's going to be that switch okay there it is is spinning. You also want to check the drain to see if it's overflowing. Check it back here for leaks. If you have a leak up in front, it's going to be your water pump down there. for some reason, but it is draining. Okay, here's the hot point. So basically, this one's not coming on. Typically what it's going to be is this dryer or the belt idler switch. Some of them have a switch, some of them don't. In order to take this front off, there's two screws underneath here, here and here. You have to take those off. And then two screws on the top. Um, so this this here, I had to uh, take this off. And then there's two screws underneath this panel. And you can lift this up. You can see what that looks like in there. And we can see there's a thermostat. There's a couple of thermostats and there's a high limit fuse. There's your high limit fuse. That sometimes goes out. And there's two thermostats there. The wires look solid. And then here we have the switch. This is the belt idler tension switch. So when uh, the belt breaks, the machine won't turn on. So if we activate this here, we can hear the switch coming on. So that's probably not going to be a problem at this point. Because that seems fine. What I can do is I can try and turn it on and hold this and see if it comes on. And definitely want to check that switch. Or excuse me, this thermostat. If that thermostat goes bad, it's very likely that the machine will not come on. Always clean out the lint. Check these skids if you hear noises. 
these skids, these Teflon skids, go bad. And sometimes you got to replace this whole plastic thing, this whole plastic rim, if you let this thing go too far. Uh, a lot of times it won't make much noise. It may rub on the side here. And sometimes this bushing here goes bad. And that one's good. So let's check a couple things with the meter here. Okay, so this one. Uh, in this case, it's going to be this, this door switch right here. These two outer terminals are supposed to have uh, continuity, but they don't have continuity. Here's the the, uh, the lid switch wire. You just push in on it, and it, well, let's see, what does it do? Anyway, if you just pull out on it, you may have to lift lift up on that tab. Lift up on that tab there, and it'll come out. But that uh, this lid switch door switch is bad. Um, so the door switch is bad, and we have to activate the tension switch as well to test it in this mode here.